Hi, I'm Evelyn, and I'm building my own tiny house. The exact same four themes of last time apply to this one actually as well. I have been working on the container, of course, but also on planning ahead. I have been distracted again by little distractions. And I have worked on that claustrophobic feeling I had. Up till now, I've been working on two-dimensional models and I tried to draw in 3D, which is not my strongest point. Um, but my biggest problem is that when you draw a line where a door or a window will be, it's not visible how the light will fall in. And as I need to make decisions on windows and doors, I try to figure out how that will actually look like in 3D, in real life. So I've been starting to work on a three-dimensional model of my tiny house just to get a better understanding of how much doors and windows I am going to need. As you might know, there is this lovely little game that is called Minecraft, where you have a sort of Lego-like world where you can dig uh, materials and build houses, where you can get food from pigs and chickens and uh, cows. And um, I'm really feeling like I'm living in, in inside that world right now. When I'm working on the installation, it's really like I am in a cave trying to find uh, diamonds or gold or something else uh, of value and sometimes yes sometimes there is a ca sort of cave in of gravel in my case loose uh, insulation that is just covering everything Again, I have been thinking very hard about windows and doors, um, as it's a difficult topic. If I want a, an, an, a house that is as economically um, as possible, then I should not want windows, actually. But I do want windows, because, um, well, just opening up that little hole on the end of the container has shed a light on my thoughts and on my thinking process about windows and doors, um, which is, I think, one of the most important things I really need to make a decision about soon. Um, so that's one of the first things that I really come to a point of no return and have to just decide on something. So I'm really thinking and thinking and thinking of that. Um, just have a box without windows is maybe the most economic, 
most practical to keep it warm and cold, but that's not going to happen. And the other side of opening up a whole side of the container isn't going to happen either. So that is out of the window too. But um, something that is a bit in between of that is a sliding door. The problem with that is though that I've been told that it's really difficult to make it slide well and it has to be very stable and especially if I ever want to have my house moved that's going to be very difficult to get it right again. Um, so I think the next thing that is coming close to anything of that are French doors. So I've been searching the internet for French doors and I found them. So I've got my first doors slash windows. lovely would it be if the materials would, just like in Minecraft, be picked up and stored automatically? in Minecraft I have now little chickens to take care of. I'm basically building my tiny house in the back garden of my best friend and as you might have noticed he has chickens and now he has also a breeding machine so we can see very close from very close up the the real process of uh, going from egg to a little chick which is just wonderful.
with a breeding machine, there is a higher chance of the eggs coming out, but also a higher chance of legs from these little chicks that haven't grown right. But with a little bit of help and a few days, biggest problems I've encountered this week is loads of wet insulation that is just soaked with rain. If you want to get rid of our garbage, we are being charged by the weight of it. And I know of one that is doing it by volume, but the insulation really gets bulky. It just seems to expand as I pry it out. So that wouldn't be a good idea. Um, I'm trying not to be charged for some rainwater. So what I'll do is keep the wet insulation uh, apart from the rest and wait until it's dry and then uh, put it into sacks. I'm really happy with the progress I made this week. Um, especially that I'm almost done with the roof. I'm really looking forward to that because um, it's very heavy to work above your head. Um, and it's, it's really annoying that the insulation is just falling on top of me all the time. So I hope that is less when I'm working on the sides. So there's some real visible progress and I'm really looking forward to a new week and I hope you have a great week as well. <laughs> Did you know that only 1% of the human cells is playing a part of what you could call conscious intelligence? <laughs> Yeah, the rest of us are just basic instincts. <laughs> it's a bit unlucky that at 1% are all brain cells. And it's calling itself CEO of our whole system. Yeah. Imagine it being only left big toe cells or something. Then we would reign. Yep, we would. But now we're helping the CEO a hand, or two, with building a home for us all. And we still have some influence. <laughs> Yep, like making this outro. Hey, can you please get to the point now? Uh, uh, yes, like us or not, subscribe to us or not, let us know your thoughts or what your dream is mm -hmm. or what you like about this video or what you expect us to do next mm -hmm. in the comment section down below. See you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.